So we've just made it to Killam Falls. It's about 30 minutes from Byron Bay. Um, it's a little waterfall with a freshwater swimming pool, so we're going to check it out. By the looks of things, I think it's a pretty prime location. It's about 7.30 in the morning. So we've just started working on the track. It's 600 meters to the viewing platform and then it's 1km to the waterfall. So it's not too much of a journey. It'll probably take us about 20 minutes to get down there and then hopefully we can have a fresh water dip, which we probably need because at the moment we're living in a van and showers are hard to come by. So this will be quite refreshing for the both of us. We've just made it to the first viewing platform. It's taken us about five minutes. This is my type of hike where we're literally almost there and we've only done a couple steps. Yeah, honestly, like no I, sweat. I think I can see the bottom of the pool already, so it's quite a short walk, which is really good for the both of us. We just finished up at the viewing platform. We're just going to head down towards the main base of the falls now. Should take us approximately how long do you reckon? A couple of minutes. It doesn't look too far. Yeah, the drop from the waterfall is not that big. I think it's probably about five or six meters. So we can't be that far from the base. Um, should maybe take us a 10 minute walk probably. In all the falls and creeks in Byron, that's what we should do today. Just made it to the descent for the falls. Um, it does start to get a little bit slippery. just made it to the bottom of the waterfall um, we almost had it to ourselves but all of a sudden a crowd of about six seven people just turned up but it's all good still a nice spot to hang out for a few hours we're just gonna um, go for a little dip check out the waterfall I just want to get in and cool down yeah so yeah we can actually have a bit of a wash now as well because <laughs> it's been a while since we had one so luxuries of van life yeah. get out a little bit now there's only two other people here um, I'm just gonna go in for a little dip Hopefully it's not too cold, but I just had a leech on me, so there's probably a few leeches crawling around in there. So we'll see how it is. It's warm. Oh, careful the rock, they're quite sharp. Alright, so we just finished up and this place is literally just turned into a, like a all day swimming pool. About 20 people have turned up now. So we're just going to head off, uh, we freshened up, had a nice little wash, had a swim, taken some photos. So yeah, I think it's a good time to start leaving now. Just made it back to Byron. Uh, we parked up down at the pass and we've just taken on the coastal walk up to the lighthouse. We've just made it to our first lookout point at the, be <laughs> the beach named what? I think, well, I think it's Waitgoss, but I could be pronouncing that completely wrong. Yeah, our pronunciations of these Aussie um, beaches and towns are <laughs> probably not correct. So we literally just took a 10 minute walk around the coastline and we've made it to this little beach. Um, if you fancy a bit of privacy and you want a beach to yourself, I highly recommend walking about 10 minutes from the past around the coastline and you can just come down here. You could probably go nudist here if you wanted to because there's, there's literally no one here. We've got this strip of beach to ourselves. taking a little seat uh, we've been here for about half an hour now we've still got this beach completely to ourselves. so like I said if you're in Byron Bay and you want to take a little 10 minute walk away from the busy beaches just come down here you'll literally have the beach to yourself 
I reckon you could probably hit a surf out here as well, but it's a bit rocky, so I don't know, you'd have to be pretty advanced to surf out. And there this. is a surf surfer there, he just came in. Yeah, one surfer's just came in, so it's obviously a nice a nice beach to hit a, hit a little surf, but he's actually walking out to the... Do you know what, it's just so nice as well to be away from the crowds. Like we've, we've came on school holidays, so it's been really, really busy, and it's just nice to come to a beach where you've just literally got it to yourself. And it's literally only around the corner. Yeah, so like when you come to these towns, don't just hang around in the main strip and think, oh, you've found everything that Byron has to offer. Literally just adventure out a little bit. Some little hidden gems. And there'll be a few little hidden gems. Um, we're probably going to clock off from this spot now. Head up towards the lighthouse. Where are you standing? There's a towel there. Where? See, just you spotted a towel? See that no way. It's literally a towel. Mm. No way. That's cool. Anyway, anyway. Back to the point. We've just made it to the most easterly point of Australia on the coast of Byron Bay so if we don't achieve something today at least we've <laughs> at least we've stood in the most easterly point of Australia yes that is an achievement so we just made it to our final destination the Cape Byron lighthouse it's actually a pretty nice walk along the coastline um, a few stop-offs and we just see some dolphins our friends came up the other day as well and they said that um, they also saw dolphins so I think it's a, like a regular occurrence so you're pretty lucky when you come up because you can see like a pod of four. We see a turtle. Yeah, we also spotted a turtle but... Um... Too quick for us to capture. Anyway, so we've finished our hike at the... Um... Cape Byron Lighthouse around yeah. the coast. Um, we've set up camp. We actually paid for our campsite tonight, even though we had a wash in the lake. Um, it was just nice to have a proper wash and actually have a proper feed because we've just been eating salads for the last week or so. So we've actually got some prawns tonight and salad and a nice piece of steak. So we're going to tuck in, enjoy that. Um, but we're just going to leave this vlog here for for this one, I reckon. Yep, till next um, week maybe. Yeah, till next week. We're still in Byron, so we're not really doing much else around here. We're going to make our way back down the coast towards Sydney, so we'll probably stop off in a few places along the way. We'll bring you along for the journey. Uh, give us a like, it helps out the channel. And make sure you give us a subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Danielle, what to say? Goodbye. Goodbye.